In this video, we're going to go over operators in JavaScript. Now, I want to point out that if you have experience in programming, some of these early videos that I'm doing on the syntax of JavaScript will look very, very familiar to you. But I do want to point out there are some subtle differences, and I pointed that out in the videos that I did on variables. There are slight differences in terms of how you declare JavaScript variables. But overall, some of this will look very similar. So just be patient, and I do recommend that you still take these videos but again when we start getting to the DOM and events things will start looking very different if you have no experience in JavaScript but the syntax of the language is very similar to C based languages so in terms of operators we're going to start out first with arithmetic and assignment operators but first let's take a look at the most basic of all operators the assignment operator and we've seen this many times in our previous videos we've actually been using some of these already so first let's declare a variable like we've done and I've just simply declared a variable here called number one and it will hold the value of seven now here's the assignment operator the equal sign and that is one of the most basic operators that you'll see in JavaScript in most programming languages and all we're doing here is telling JavaScript to assign everything on the right to everything on the left which happens to be our variable in other words we are saying assign the value of seven to our variable on the left and then that will hold the value this variable number one now let's create another variable here and what we're doing here is we're not manipulating this value we're just assigning a straight value so we're not doing any arithmetic we're not doing any subtraction or multiplication we're just assigning a straight value so there's no altering of the value so this is the most basic way that you can assign a value to a variable so now let's go ahead and use an arithmetic operator and you'll notice that we're going to use the number one variable again and you'll notice that there's no rule against using that also in your value so what we're saying here is add number one and add number two and that will give us of course 11 and so let's go ahead and actually run this so we'll just do a document dot write and we'll just print out number one and let's go ahead and save this and then we'll run this from our web page and we'll just run this in Chrome and there you can see we got 11 so again we are manipulating the value here on the right by using the addition operator so the addition gets done first on the right and then the value is finally assigned on the left when all the calculations are done on the right now there are three other basic arithmetic operators and you will recognize these there is subtraction there is multiplication and of course there is the division operator so those are the three other main arithmetic operators now there is actually a shorter way to write this out in JavaScript so let's actually comment this out and we're going to use now what's called a compound operator and that is where you combine the equal sign and the plus sign and I'll show you that so here is the compound operator and you'll notice they are right next to each other and all we're saying here is add number two to number one and then that will be assigned to number one so this is just a shorthand way to do that to use a compound operator but it does the same thing as this statement up here the only difference is you have to write out more in this statement this is a shorter way to assign the value by using the compound operator so let's save this and then we'll run this and we should get the same result and there you can see we get 11 so again we are just simply saying here first add number two to number one and then assign that value to number one so again it's just a shorter way to write out this statement and with the compound operator you can also do compound operators with subtraction multiplication and division so that is compound operators now there is another operator called the incremental operator and that is where you can increment the value up by one so let's do that so all we do is type in number one and then we type out plus plus and that is the incremental operator so what this will do is it should increment the value of number one by one after this statement has been run so we should get 12 so let's go ahead and save this and we will run this and we get 12. now you can also decrement this by one as well so if we put a minus minus here and we'll save this and let's go ahead and run this now we should get I believe 10 and we did 
So that is the incremental and decremental operators. Now there is one more concept that I would like to talk about before we end this video, and that is the concept of operator precedence. And it's important to understand that. So let's actually go ahead and copy and paste over all of this. And we're going to create a variable, another variable called number one. And what we're going to do is we're going to add two operators here, the arithmetic and the multiplication operator. Now when you have multiple operators, that is when you want to understand how operator precedence works. And the deal here is the multiplication and division operators take precedence over the addition and subtraction operators. So if you take a look at this, you might be inclined to, and you actually would be correct in the real world, you'd be inclined to add 4 plus 3, and that gives you 7, times 5 would give you 35. That is what you would expect to get. But let's go ahead and save this, and then let's run this in Chrome. And you'll see we'll get a very entirely different result here. We get 19, and I'll show you why because the multiplication operator takes precedence. So three times five equals 15 plus four gives you what we just saw, which was 19. That's how operator precedence works. Now let's say you want the four plus three to be executed first. There is actually a way to do that. And the way you do that is to put this in parenthesis. So now the four plus three will be executed first and then it will be multiplied times five. So let's save this and we should get 35. And if we run this in Chrome, you can see now we get the expected result. So whatever you put in these parentheses will now get executed first no matter what type of operator you have in there. Now there are other operators and we will talk about those in future videos, but this is a good start and I will see you guys in the next video.